After crossing under a logging road bridge, we continued on our way towards Elsie's Lake, our destination for the night. Stuck? <laughs> we just made it to Elsie's Lake. Um, there's two parts to this lake and we're going to try to get to the lower section. Although if we find something really nice in terms of a campsite here, we may stay here. But uh, we're just going to paddle down and see what we find or not find. <laughs> It looks like a beautiful lake. There's some cliffs, there's some rocky outcrops, and the sun is slightly setting. It's 10 after 6. If we had time, but we'd climb up to the top. If you have time, you want to go? You want to go? It won't take too long. So, so I just climbed up to the top of this cliff. Uh, Mojena was joining me, but it got a little sketchy, so she decided not to go all the way. And if you look here, you can see all the way down. It's beautiful. And the view from here is stunning. You can see the canoe is tucked in the trees over there. But, wow, what a view. Gorgeous. I'll just park it here. Like you cleared a nice path, ladies. Thank you. Yeah, while well, you guys are lounging in the Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of effort to film. Due to all the rocks along this shallow stretch, DQ and Alice decided to portage rather than risk further damaging their canoe. This certainly had us wondering about DQ's canoe. What? <laughs> Did you just shoot your canoe down? I missed it? I guess he couldn't resist. We finally arrived at Elsie's Lake late in the day. See that? Lady shot. He's this guy. Bobo. <laughs> what? Bobo. They call you Bojangles. <laughs> I've got them all, Bojangles. Bo Derek. 
Go there. Yeah. There you go. Go there. And a red canoe going across all this green. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's about uh, almost quarter to eight. You can see that the sun is just about to dip below the, well, not the horizon, the, the tree line. And uh, we're struggling to find a campsite. But uh, we were checking this point here. It looked like on the map that there might be something here, but there wasn't. And uh, right now, uh, DQ and uh, Heather canoe they're over down at the uh, other end of the lake looking for a campsite but uh, I found something in Brighton here that will house at least the three tents so um, we're just waiting because they're checking something right now but uh, it's quite possible we could camp here so this is kind of the challenge I mean we saw some beautiful parts of the creek and did a lot of trail cutting but uh, it's always a struggle to find campsites when uh, no one's really been coming through here and camping so I think uh, we've got something here that we can stay tonight. I'll have to uh, get set up because it's going to get dark soon. So they're over there and they're just probably going to make their way here unless they find something. They said that I think they said they might have saw a flagging tape or something. So Mary, what are we having for supper tonight? Seeing that you're in charge of feeding us at 9.20. Yep. We were having ratatouille tonight. We're all hangry. It's Yummy. I think I uh, tempered that with that Snickers bar, don't you? Yes, yeah, you did. Yeah. Because yeah, you're going to get out of control there, girl. She's coming for you. Yeah? <laughs> to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Cherry marshmallow. Didn't even make my memo. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to wait for that to simmer down a bit. That looks like a very um, <laughs> deformed uh <laughs> it's a little droopy. Yeah. yeah. Let's see you eat the outside, right? And then you toast it again. Yeah, going in. Inside. Inside. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good morning. It is uh, morning of day three and it is overcast on Alsi's Lake as you can see here but it is hot and muggy. Uh, it already rained and uh, I don't know uh, we got a weather forecast through Mary's inReach and there's only well it's 40 percent of rain now and it might have already passed and it's supposed to get better so Hopefully the sun will come out, but uh, our camp last night was up this big hill. Uh, we were getting desperate to find something because it was starting to get dark. And uh, we found this off weird trail with a flagging tape and it came up to this flat area where we had to do some work to uh, clear a campsite. And uh, we made the best of it, it worked out great. Was just uh, stuck here in this darker area further from the water but otherwise it was good we had a good campsite right pretty flat nice and cozy, nice and cozy. Like a mansion Two stories. <laughs> yeah multiple stories exactly so as you can see we're pretty high up so we're just getting ready to go today we've got uh, right off the bat we're gonna head to I think the northeast side of the lake and we're going to start into a portage right off the bat so it's going to be a good good day of sweating and bush cutting but uh, we're going to make our way to surveyor lake and from there through some uh, creeks and things hopefully to uh, waconison river so so let's see how it goes how's everyone feeling what? how's everyone feeling after our big dance party last night i'm feeling a little rough <laughs> 
Can I pull? Can I can I pull your finger? <laughs> <laughs> So we're just at the north um, east corner of the lake and this is what we're looking at. So we're just going to skirt along here. It's a little marshy here and then head inland. There's a, there's a valley uh, that's right about this way. There's a big mound of rock on this side and we just want to avoid that because it just goes straight up here. So here we go. There's a nice flat table. This is like a perfect lunch spot. Yeah. It's like a, it's like somebody put a yeah. Yeah, so we're just bushwhacking up the the trail, well not trail, and uh, DQ just noticed a perfectly balanced rock and a picnic table. So we're going to go and have a um, second breakfast? Second is that, breakfast. Is that, is that, that's the plan? Second breakfast, yeah, sure. Yep. Except we have no food with this. <laughs> I got a protein bar. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not going to move. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, you guys want to get in? I'll, sh I'll, I'll little, take it. Oh, a... that was the roof. That was the roof of it. it oh, okay. It broke off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go and sit under there. This okay, section would be our longest portage of the loose. trip, approximately about 700 meters, that crossed a few contour lines going up and down. Along the way, we also witnessed evidence of a past fire. Although we didn't get through this section totally unscathed either. Okay? Heather just stepped into a wasp nest and a few people are getting stung. So they're just uh, rushing out of there. So Mary and I are going to circumnavigate the nest and... <laughs> Okay. So we're just uh, coming into Surveyor Lake. Just uh, bushwhacked about 600 meters. And we're just heading down to the shoreline here. But uh, it's absolutely gorgeous here with the big trees. There's tons of white pine, red pine, and possibly hemlock. I'm not sure. But uh, it's really, really pretty in here. But uh, it's rugged terrain, that's for sure. Cool legs, like rock aligning the whole. Yeah. So we think we see some blazes. We're not t totally sure if they are or not. Yeah. Well, if you look across, there's this one here. Which? Where's the other one? Right there. There's that and then one. through the forest, you can see another one over on that tree. Plus, there's two marks on that tree over there. Where I peed. <laughs> hmm. So, there, you know what? It's not, I mean, the thing is, there are blazes like that, and there also, it could also be, um, I don't know if it's a disease or something. Like no, sometimes. No, no, no. Because they're, they're both at the same level. They're old, though. They're the same height, and the tree I was at had two cuts at the yeah. exact same level. But see, this doesn't make sense. The blaze shouldn't be here. Oh, you can see another. It could be a forestry marker too, but I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. Woods have over down with the salt. How are you ladies feeling? That's better. I got two choo what did we just finish? I have no bloody clue. Anybody out there want to carry my canoe? I could do it part of it. How about you just give me jujubes along the way? <laughs> <laughs> jujubes, chat. As you can tell, Heather's fueled by jujubes. I have no idea. What? So, this is. Um, a creek <laughs> and as you can see there's barely any water here 
and there's like two beaver dams there and uh, we won't be able to make it to Surveyor Lake obviously through this there's like a cliff there there's something white there right anyhow so we'll probably have to portage this section to get to Surveyor Lake so it's going to be back on the trail again I'll have to give them the bad news they probably already know Looks like there's some water in the pond there. Yeah, and then leaving it, it's going to be more or less the same, but at least we can just go along the shore where we're supposed to work. Oh, we did that on the Shakwa, right? Same thing, just either one person on either side, just walk it right out. Should be fine. Yay! I'm <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to pull. By pulling on both sides, it is easy to navigate turns and pull the canoe through the shallow mucky section together. Okay, so I'm like, just yeah. Try to jump over here, you, so. Can you get there? Uh, With the next, no. like, let your rope out. Try. Or you could get in the canoe and we can paddle up forward. Whatever is uh, better. Okay. Nice. Do you go across? Well, if you're going to go into your chest, probably not. Okay. I do as a paddler. Just... We heaved and pushed over the logs to the beaver dam as it was too deep. Nothing is ever that simple. <laughs> Hold on. I was going to get on too. As you can clearly see, this section was no cakewalk, but we finally all made it out, albeit a little dirty. It wasn't long after we finally reached Surveyor Lake, where we would stay for the night. Luckily, we were able to find a site much quicker this time. Well used? No? I think I need to go for a swim. Yeah, 
Later that night, after making camp, we all swam to clean off, and then finally settled in the bug shelter for a late supper. Tonight, we enjoyed a delicious cranberry beef stew and fresh bannock from Alice's kitchen before we eventually turned in. This was our camp on Surveyor Lake. After some work cleaning and clearing the area, which we've all become pretty good at, it made for a pretty decent campsite. After a simple breakfast of bacon and oatmeal, we quickly cleaned up and packed up to go. Although, just be wary of those helping you pack. I tied three of the uh, four ends. Yeah of the bug shelter, so don't do it in a hurry because guaranteed it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the nicest start to the day, with rain overnight that continued on till this morning, which seemed to be the theme of this trip as we had rain every day thus far. But rain or shine, we had places to go and trails to create. So we're just starting uh, day four and we're at the end of Surveyor Lake, the northwest corner. And this is the creek that runs down and uh, you can obviously see there's no way to take a canoe down here. And this is what it looks like going up. Huge boulders, it, it is pretty, but just not enough water. So I'm going to go around and see what it looks like beyond there. This is definitely going to be a portage trail. It's really pretty in here. Wow, it's gorgeous. But it's possible it might open up there, so DQ is going over there to check it out. Everything was wet and slick, as you'll soon see. Oh! Shoo, you okay? Yeah, yeah. After DQ and I found the next paddleable body of water, the team began cutting the trail. So, we're in the middle of uh, this hot and sweaty work, but we're doing an amazing job of clearing the trail. It is uh, an amazing team. You can see there's a clear path through there and you can see we're working through a boulder field, huge boulders, but uh, this will be a little interesting to portage the canoe through and we're making our way through these big trees, so awesome job by these women. We all worked together as a team to get things done, whether it was cutting a tree or just doing camp chores. It was just wonderful to see a group of strangers come together, working towards a common goal. Woo! Timber! So we just uh, came through the forest. As you can see, there's a nice tunnel here. And it's, you almost don't even need flagging tape. You can just follow this uh, uh, corridor. But now we're approaching closer to the water. And there's uh, a lot of alders and young poplars here. So it's going to tell a lot more pruning or grooming, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. But you see, we're making an impact and clearing a way through. So I'm going to take a quick pause and chat with each member of the crew so you get to know a little bit more about them. First off, David Quirb whom we nicknamed DQ as to not get us mixed up. DQ! Yo. Of course you give me with this thing. And not 
<laughs> well, you can you can prove to everybody that you were using a saw. Let's see your hand. See, he's not using gloves, and he uh, he uh, basically got a blister right right into his hand there. Um, he's not human. Huh? He's not human. <laughs> he's not human. He's all the time, and he just like he's it's... superhuman. Don't want to hear it, Courtney. <laughs> you are you beep all the time. Oh my God, what is that? It's yeah. blister from the saw. So how's the trip going for you? Good, good. So DQ's. Uh, helping me uh, facilitate these trips by being uh, as a backup in case anything ever happens on this trip because there's a lot of risk and DQ's been on a bunch of trips uh, with me and including he's guided up uh, far up north right yeah, yeah. yeah so he's got river experience rescue and first aid and all that jazz so how's these trips compare to a little bit more workout <laughs> a little more workout yeah. yeah you can see the sweat dripping off his nose here yeah. So yeah, it's a lot more uh, time on the land grooming, I guess, yeah, busting trail. Making a canoe road. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have anything to say? What? What? No, he's coming on every canoe trip with me. Okay. Paul Bunyan. There. Yeah, Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. <laughs> there you go. You got you got some future partners with you. Right. Awesome. Yep. Good to oh, have you on the trip. Let's discuss his nickname. <laughs> yeah. No. DQ. DQ. So, did you say that you, uh, there's more uh, pruning that you've ever done at home? Yes. <laughs> that well, you my backyard probably looks like this. Right? You can all come over and I'll bring, drink, bring you a <laughs> beer and you can do my backyard. Well, this is pretty impressive. So, how, how, how is the trip going for you? It's awesome. Yeah? Lots of work. Not much canoeing? That's okay. <laughs> That's okay? Good breaks when we canoe. Did you expect this on the trip? I'm not sure what, yeah, actually the mix. You know what's really good is the mix. Yeah. The bushwhacking, the carrying heavy loads over rough terrain. Right. Walking through a nice tra nice trail back. Yeah. Smooth canoe trips, bog slogging up to my knees. It's so you're getting great. the full experience. Full experience. That's great. And so you're coming from a backpacking background. If you can call it that, yeah. Yeah. So you're you're used to kind of the bushwhacking side of it, but just not the no canoeing. Right. Took a canoe for a walk. Yeah. Through the bog. Through the bog, through the bog and and paddling small lakes. Learning Pretty to lakes. Do my my uh, what did you teach me? Uh, my, my um. Oh, the draws and cross draw, draws. Draw. Yes. That's I awesome. Learn that. Good. Oh, good. Awesome. Well, glad to have you on the team. Thank you. All right. This is Alice here. I've never met Alice before. And uh, right this time. <laughs> we're here in the bush. We're in the bush. I just happened to be here. <laughs> <laughs> My, this, this is great that we're meeting here on this trail, or kind of trail, I guess you can call it. Um, so, Alice, has yeah. this trip been what you've expected? Um, I guess so. <laughs> Seeing that you're. you're I don't think about these things too much before I go because then I probably wouldn't go. <laughs> oh! Probably bail. So, um, curiosity, have you seen any of my previous trips? Um, not in depth. Not no, in depth. I've heard about them. Also, oh, you might have came on this trip thinking that there was going to be actually paddling, you mean? Uh, well, no, I knew it would be probably carrying more than paddling. Right, but, uh, right. So you kind of generally knew, knew that it was going to be a little different. Yes. Than your typical whole canoe trips. Yes. Because you go canoeing with your friends, right? I do. A lot. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And you're enjoying the trip so far? It's great. Good. It, that's with a straight face? That's not a contrived <laughs> I smile? I love having wet feet. <laughs> <laughs> wet feet for every single day, right? Every single, single day. day. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, woman down! Did you see everyone's got their rain jackets in the bug shelter? 
and we're gonna head out into that maelstrom any minute.